Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. Right here, you have the top black male models on the planet. You have the number one black male model in the world, Mr. Alton Mason, and you have the top black female model in the world, Idut Akich Bayor. I showcased them here recently. I did Akich last week, and I did a follow-up with Alton yesterday. I did this because I wanted to show showcase um, you their beauty, their look, their dark skin, and showcase them being celebrated by the modeling industry. Because, as you know, I have done multiple videos on colorism, darkism, dark skin, light skin. And I wanted to show you that there's credence to what I talk about, and I offer proof how there's no such thing as light skin privilege out of the black community. Away from the black community, dark skin is celebrated which is good and it's rewarded by the dominant society and this is just a showcase right here that we as black people still have some work to do and this is the reason why I wanted to showcase this just to show that we have chains to unshackle we have colorism to deal with we have racial ideologies which are deep within our psyche to deal with. Because, let's be honest, the black community, more so than any other community, does not find this type of beauty attractive. It's strange how the dominant society will reward this, but the black community will not. And right now, people, I'm going to be honest with you. It's good that the black community is not in control of the modeling industry. Because had the black community been in control of the modeling industry, we would not have these two sitting at the top. We will be rewarding someone like this. And we would be rewarding models who look similar to this. We would go all out ambiguous. We would not be for anyone that's too dark skinned, which speaks to us and just things that we need to work on. And we see that when blacks are in control of things, the black models are actors who they tend to hire. They tend to go lighter. You do not see a dark one in the bunch here. I believe that diversity across the board is great. But I do believe that too much of one way is not good for black people. Because we are definitely a very diverse group of people. And I think that as of right now, it's good that the dark skins are being showcased. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times this type of beauty was not accepted or desired or looked upon as something um, to emulate. So if another group is willing to put it first and foremost, to put it up on top and reward it, I'm all for it. So that is the reason why I wanted to showcase and show that the top male black model in the world and the top black female model in the world are both 
dark-skinned people. So if you're dark-skinned, run to this industry if this is truly what you want to do. If you're light-skinned, don't run away from it. It just shows that there is an appreciation of diverse looks, an appreciation of different types of looks. Basically, there is room for all. And um, again, this is just to showcase you and to show that with my other, other previous videos, I knew my stuff. I knew what I was talking about when I had mentioned how taken out of the black community that there's no such thing as a light skin privilege. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you beyond and through.